Chocolate Island, let's go! So he's Chocolate Island dinosaurs. I mean, this is the sort of thing tourists would go to see. They'd flock for miles to see the Chocolate Island dinosaurs, but... You know, tourists probably don't go out here too often because how aggressive these dinosaurs are in comparison to the comparatively tame uh, dinosaurs of the other parts of Dinosaur Land, like, uh, uh, you know, like, like for example, the um, uh, Yoshis, who indeed are so tame that it's just really quite amazing. Although these dinosaurs are not dinosaurs at all, they're like dragons, they breathe fire, so it's pretty, I mean, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty impressive too, pretty impressive specimens themselves. It's a really clever one they just have there. Checkpoint! Come on, I gotta get the checkpoint. No, no, Mario. Don't do that. Do this. Do this. There we go. Look at that charging Chuck up there. Having a grand old time. Well, not anymore. Not anymore, is it? There's no way I'm gonna get up there and get that fire flower. It's too far away from a higher, high enough ledge. Whoop! Wait. Oh, there is another Yoshi. I hadn't realized. This is very good. I have another Yoshi's around. Unfortunately, he's pretty deep into the level, isn't he? Pretty dang dun darn gosh darn deep. With his sticky gecko-like tongue. Oh no no no! We're stuck here. Okay, fine. What we gotta do is we gotta hop onto the dolphins' backs, and then we gotta ride these porpoises all the way. We gotta ride them with a por with a with a porpoise. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm pretty proud of that one. Okay, okay, so far so good. So far so good. Wow, we actually made it. I am kind of in awe at myself. Yeah, I have to <laughs> good job. Good job. I'm, I'm proud of that one. What the? What? What's over here? Oh, we're already at the goal. Well, I mean, I feel kind of bad being at the goal. Here, Yoshi. Don't let yourself get pushed around like that, Yoshi. It makes you... It's, it's ridiculous. Okay. Well. Um. Well. It, um. Nice work, Yoshi. Spitting that out right there so we can get nothing out of it and all our efforts moving around are totally in vain. No, it's fine, though. I'm not mad. I'm, I, I forgive you. I understand it was an accident. Oh, Choco Ghosts! Delicious. We so rarely find Yoshis, and when we do, we always lose them immediately. Wow. Here they have uh, structural imperfections that move, slide around. That's pretty amazing. It must be ghost imperfections. What the? What's oh, a ghost Lakitu? No, 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 no. No ghost Lakitus for me today. Thank you very much. What's that ghost Lakitu gonna do? Can't go down any lower than this, can he? No, he bleeding can't. Okay, so we, we, we lost our power up pretty quickly. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty quickly. Um, the first time we actually got some kind of power up in a ghost house and we lose it immediately. I mean, it's typical. You know, expect that in a ghost house. That's what the ghost houses want us to do. Is to lose them. What the? Wait, are those blocks booze? Yeah, they are. I say those booze are pretty crafty, turning into blocks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch it here, huh? What crazy stuff are these booze getting themselves into? Turning into platforms and all this other stuff? Well, this is what makes these some of the best levels in the game. Is that all the crazy, unique things that they have going for them. A lot of clever stuff goes into one of these levels. That's one of the things I think makes this uh, pretty impressive, just how much totally, you know, more or less totally original stuff goes into so many of these levels. Is, uh... I mean, you know, we, we haven't... Like, a lot of the times, we'll see some interesting idea for a level, and then it recurs. It becomes a recurring thing. Well, then we see it, and it doesn't even recur. It's, which is the opposite of what I said the first time, but... Okay, what we need... I see what we need to do. We need to get... We need to sort of guide these boos that turn into solid rocks behind us so we can get up to the upper ledge up there. 
because they turn into solid rocks only only when they're trying to, you know, to sneak up behind us because they think we don't know that they're booze. But really, this is the key to us getting out of here. The darn fools. They don't realize that all along, they're what allowed Mario to escape. I suppose the boos are also working for Bowser, aren't they? Well, just another component of his undead forces. Just another component of them. Man, I feel like to get... I feel like to get this far, back when I was first playing this when I was a kid, it took me a long time. I thought that this was just probably about the end. I really don't know how far we are in it, but Chocolate Island sure is a foreboding place. Must have gotten its name because its rocky mountains and hills look somewhat like chocolate chips when viewed from a satellite distance. Or satellite photo or something, you know. Gulp. What's this? The coins you collect for the time remaining affect your progress in this area. Can I find the special goal? What? Who wrote that? And why? Um... Well, I mean, I hope I can. Probably, probably can, you know? So there's an- oh, there's also Yoshi in this level. I'm very glad about that. I'm very glad there is. No. Down. There we go. Okay. okay this is more of what I expected from Chocolate Land. High cliffs. Craggy, fiery, lizard-filled expanses. These slanted platforms that are one of the Super Mario World specialties. Certainly, there's nothing like them in any of the earlier Mario games that I'm aware of, other than just normal... You know, all those other Mario games just had normal platforms. This one, though, we added in... slanting platforms. It's a shame, though, that we lost Yoshi. Oh, well. Oh. I, just, I don't remember Yoshi being quite so rare. Anyway, so what was that thing that sign at the beginning said about coins affecting your... your, you know, how far you get in the level or something? Is there going to be a gate and you need so and so many coins to open it? If so, I'd be pretty... Oh, these guys again! More proper dinosaurs! We haven't seen them since Yoshi's Island. Oh, in any case, if there's a secret exit, I certainly did not find it. Oh, well, I'll find it later. Or I might. Come on, Luigi. We got places to go. Oh! Oh! No, this is good. Okay, let's do this first. Wow, that's a lot in a row. Mario, I have to say. I have to say, Mario, we really were lucky that time. Now, keep going. What's this? Oh, it's platform spinning around. Spinning brown platform. Best kind of platform. Not really. I prefer them when they're not spinning around. I mean, it's just me. So the Koopa's really only equipment is their shell. It's a horrible way to equip your arm. Oh, well. You know, it's actually kind of a spooky idea that there's the ghost and they'll uh, continue attacking you as long as you're not staring at them. I mean, it's a kind of a weak weakness, maybe? But when you get down to it, I mean, that's pretty... That's a pretty crazy weakness, like... There we go. Let's wait a second. Okay, that's still fair. These boos are in the way. I guess that's what they're here for, isn't it? Okay. Okay, come on. We're gonna, we're gonna beat this big bozo. He might be tall. Okay. It's true, Mario is not very tall. But even so, I think that Mario can beat this guy. We've beat a bunch of the Koopalings. Well, I suppose this big boo also probably works for Bowser, doesn't he? What the? Why didn't that hit him? Alright, this one will hit him. Or not. That's kind of... 
Kind of surprised, honestly. Why didn't it hit him? Was he not solid enough? Yeah, um... Not qu well, that one hit, didn't hit him because it's totally missed all together, all around. Hey! Okay, guys. This is getting pretty desperate. Okay. Yeah, this is getting really desperate, really fast. This has went from, like, guaranteed victory to a guaranteed loss because I lost. Curse you, Mario, jumping so high with your darn athletic build. What the? Why? How did that not hit it? That went right through it. Oh, well, I hit it somehow. The Star Road. I'd say that that is definitely the most difficult boss of the entire game so far. Let's go, Luigi. Well, Mario would probably say it more like, Let's go, Luigi! Star World 1. I'm not confident I can find the hidden exit, but this is, after all, Star World 1, so it'll probably be something here. The fact that we're in a sparkling vanilla dome-esque underground cave really uh, helps me, you know, it, it keeps helps me keep some things in mind. For example, that, uh, here, you know, normal rules don't apply, because it looked like we were just uh, above ground before. Okay, so we can go this, let's see, what's, what's down here? Blocks? Makes sense. But there's something else down here, it looks like. Specifically, a dragon coin. That's the thing. Once Mario begins spinning around, hitting on these blocks, he's not really capable of stopping. He just is just a crazy dance that he mastered years ago, back when he was young. But a lad growing up in Brooklyn. Got another dragon coin. And some nothing. Um, I almost feel like the dragon coin is like a trick. Like, it'll actually not really take us to anything very good. Like, if we go that way, we get the coin, sure, but we'll miss some valuable other item we could get otherwise. That's just what I feel like. Oh, now that I think about it, are the two lines on these supposed to be eyes, or is it just, uh, supposed to be like an abstract design? I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be eyes. Does that mean they're alive? I mean, I sure hope not. I don't want to hurt them like I've been doing. Oh. Hey. Hey, Koopas. Koopas. How you doing? Koopaing. Just Koopaing around, I see. Yeah, that's what I expect Koopas to do, is just Koopa this way, that. I'd say this isn't really that tough of a level. It's more like an interesting idea for a level rather than a super challenging one, which is not... Which is, you know, contrary to what I've come to expect from, uh... Uh, from... Soup from the Star Road. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, we can still keep going. Okay, good, good. What the? Oh, it's another red Yoshi. All right, sure. Hey, red Yoshi. It's really disturbing watching that little Yoshi swallow them whole. I mean, these are all intelligent. It's like watching a baby swallow a whole person. It's, I mean, it's nightmarish, really. Oh, so we missed the hidden exit. <laughs> Well, I feel like there, the hidden exit can't be that hard to find. No. We're gonna find the hidden exit to Star World 1. Here's what I want to be doing. Clearing out a whole big path. Okay, we, well, we lost our ability to clear out a whole big path. Oh, but there you go, though. All right, where is this warp gonna take us? Wow, it, but we're stuck though. So it's basically, basically useless. Well, never mind. I thought this would be amazing. It would let us get somewhere we wouldn't have been able to get to otherwise, and instead, such bitter disappointment awaited me. 
But fine, let's see what Star World 2 is like. Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh. Here we, yeah, here we go. This is an interesting idea for a level. Just floating around killing fish. I feel kind of wrong doing it though. It feels like I'm doing the wrong thing. After all, I mean, you know, it's it's not. Our fisheries are 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 precious. They're sacred, and we, it's up to us to defend them to take care of our fisheries. And here I am, just wantonly slaughtering fish for the heck of it, not because. Well, I guess it's I guess in some sense the whole thing's like a bonus level, isn't it? Just eat them before they wake up. Well, I mean, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with eating fish. I love fish, and humans have been eating fish for a long time. No, what's the, where the problem is, is overfishing. And this sort of wanton disrespect for the, you know, for the health of fish is, is, is kind of, well, not good. I think we're about to go find the secret exit. Yeah, sure enough. Sure enough, we are. Um, I guess the lock's down, yeah. Man, I am on a roll. Let's go, Luigi. Fact? Heck, heck, why not, Luigi? Luigi. Well, how are you gonna screw things up this time for us, brother, huh? Oh, well, we love you, Luigi. What the heck? It's just, it's just on an island in the middle of the... Well, hold on, where even are we? So there's Chocolate Island, and there's Yoshi's Island, and there's Donut Plains. Yeah, we're just, we're just in the middle of this sort of gulf here, aren't we? That's a suspicious-looking circle of rocks. It reminds me of the, uh... Well, that's actually another game that, uh, had a very good sense of exploration was Donkey Kong Country 3. In Donkey Kong Country 3, I still remember... Uh, I still remember uncovering the hidden island where the Kremlings were operating. What? What the? Oh, but, wait, hold on. What's going on here? What the heck? The goal already? But there are three dragon coins on the other side. Oh, I see. There, we're, there's some crazy secret going on there. I think those different colored Yoshi eggs that are just hatching into one-ups are going to actually, you know, turn another color Yoshis. Maybe there's a Yoshi that we could get in that level that would just fly indefinitely. Which I have to say would be pretty darn amazing if we could get a Yoshi like that. I know I'm speaking of these Yoshis as if they're just pack animals instead of, instead of real people, but I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, no, no, I know it's being a bit disrespectful. I know I'm do I shouldn't be. I guess we'll just go to Chocolate Island 3. I mean, I guess. With Yoshi, you know, even platforming with Luigi isn't difficult. It, that's the thing, every jump you're like putting everything on the line. That's what really makes it feel risky, is that it really is everything on the line. Is any jump you lose all your power-ups. Like right now, you know, right now we're in good shape. But there's no telling if we're gonna stay in good shape. No telling whatsoever. I mean, we might be able to pull it up. What the, what the? How the heck did that Koopa come back to life? I don't know. I, I really don't know at all. Oh! You're doing pretty good, Luigi. I mean, Yoshi's doing all the heavy lifting, so to speak. I mean, literally, he's lifting you on his back. I mean, I don't not really think that you're all that heavy, you know. You're, that you're such a heavy guy, Luigi. You know, you're, you're kind of... But you're not exactly, you know, thin, but you're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not... You're not a plump guy. Or, well, I mean, the other way around. You're not thin, but you're just plump. It's not like you're fat. I certainly don't intend to disrespect you any. That's certainly not what I'm here to do, Louis. No, no! Oh, oh, there's a cloud platform! Oh, I thought it was all over. Hmm. Hey, er, well, wait, does Yoshi disappear if he goes off screen? I don't want to risk that happening. Let's just get out of here. I don't know, it's nice, nice respite from all this hot platforming action, but... Oh, fuzzies. 
I hate sh I I don't like fuzzies one dang bit. Okay, so far so so good. Maybe we can even spit this one out and hit the other fuzzy. No, not quite. It looked like a Yoshi was about to vomit up the fuzzy. Probably because they're so fuzzy that you know it's difficult to to to, to, to digest them. I wonder what's in that block up there. I think it's a secret. Maybe. Yeah, it sounded pretty secrety. I gotta admit. Oh, it was just a feather. I already have one of those. I mean, I appreciate the offer, guys. I, I really do. But, I, and, and, you know, that's... Oh, well! So much for doing well on this level. That's all I can say. So much for doing well. Okay. Time. Now we're running out of time. Nice going, Luigi. Uh, nice going, Luigi. We lost. We had so much, Luigi. And now we lost everything. What? Uh, Oh! Maybe we didn't lose everything at all. Maybe we gained the world. Oh, just one of these? Okay, sure. Uh, you didn't do so bad, Luigi. It was inevitable that Yoshi couldn't stick with us forever. Don't worry, we'll run into Red Yoshi again later. Oh, it's like the Forest of Illusion. You know, I, th I personally think it's kind of the super peppy music is kind of strange. It's almost misleading. Because after all, let's look at this here. Mario and Luigi, after the events of Super Mario Bros. 3, decide to go on a vacation with the princess to this continent full of dinosaurs. For some reason. I don't really know why it's full of dinosaurs. They get there. It turns out that the guy who they saved the world from has already completely occupied the entire continent with his army. His troops are everywhere. It's just crawling with them. And now, they find themselves... their vacation ruined. And they're in a war for survival, taking out that leader of the... of, of you know, the bad guy's kids one by one as they wander around a wilderness. They, don't, they never find, like, any friendly faces. Everyone is trying to kill them except for the friendly Yoshi villagers who, most of whom are, you know, are really all of whom except, yeah, all of them have been captured by the Koopas. No! Ah. I figure I went through the pipe last time and what I found was not a hidden exit. So this time, I'm not gonna repeat that mistake. I'm going, or maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. Maybe there was a hidden exit in there and it was just so well hidden that my, my untrained eyes couldn't couldn't even see it. Although I've become pretty attuned to noticing locks and keyholes now. It's kind of strange, I think, the way that... You know, I remember the first time I found one of those secret exits. I had no idea they even existed in this game back all those years ago when I played it as a kid. And I thought it was really something special the way that the uh, keyhole expanded to swallow up Mario. It really made it feel like there was some kind of magic afoot. And of course, there is. Keyhole growing up to swallow guy is nothing less than magic. And that's the story of the Koopa, whose own death allowed the Koopa to finally defeat Mario. And that's where our tragic story of these two brothers traveling a rugged wilderness ends. What I might do. I think this would be a fine idea. Let's see what what the, what what's in this egg here. Oh, it eats coins. Well, that's kind of odd. I'm not sure if it wants to eat coins. It has every right to. Wow! Thank you so much for rescuing me. Look, I have no pride. Okay, I don't care. I'm a yellow Yoshi. I can stomp sand clouds no matter what color shall I eat. Stump sand clouds? What in the heck does that mean? No! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, first things first, Yoshi. Okay, we gotta get rid of the Lakitu here. We gotta get rid of the... Okay, well, nice work, Yoshi. Let's just see how many, you know, what, what we can find here. So the amount of coins you have apparently affects what, you know, the layout of the level. What you end up finding here. 
I believe the amount of dragon coins also affects this. No, Yoshi! Yoshi, Yoshi, please. <sighs> what is with Yoshi and freaking out like that? It's like they all have some kind of, you know, mental disorder causing them to just, just flip out. What, what, what's this? Well, whatever. Okay, let's let's try this again. Ugh, we made it. And I don't miss him. Yoshi. Okay, we got a bunch of coins. Let's see what the next area is like. It's exactly the same as what it was all the other times I've been here. Or at least the last time I was here. The secret exit must be found by going to a, uh, you know, coming through with a different amount of coins. I mean, obviously. Well, we, uh, lost Yoshi. What a, what, what a tragedy. Really, it will make this somewhat more difficult. I thought you had a coin if you squashed them twice like that. Those are show what I know. Well, there, these blocks probably have coins in them, so let's see what happens if we just don't get any of them. Shall we? Yes, we shall. It also has to do with how much time is left. Right? Right. This is a pretty good area here. Maybe there'd be like different items depending on how much time you uh, had left. Right? Right, so in fact, let's try this. Let's try speed running the level, so to speak. Speed, speed, speed run the level. I think it's an admirable thing to do. Not really. I don't. I'm not a big fan of speed runners. Yeah, this is definitely a different area from what was here before. Um, but it doesn't really seem like a particularly secret-filled area, now, does it? Still, let's uh, just, just just rush through here. We almost got across. All right, just uh, let's just just go, let's run, let's just rush through level. Who cares about how many coins we have or any of that kind of stuff? Who cares about that jazz? I'll be lucky if I can even get on top of that Yoshi in this place. That's the kind of place this is. It's not very amicable to uh to visitors. Okay. I got a few coins, I admit. We still got this area. Good. It probably has to do with the time. Uh, the, you know. Or maybe it's a... I don't know how it affects, you know, determines which area you're going to get into, okay? I really don't know. For all I know, it could just totally make stuff up. It could just be random. But it's not random, because they wouldn't have given you that message at the beginning about how, you know, what, what factors they use to determine these things. See, this is definitely not the typical area I'm uh, used to here. <laughs> and we're not gonna get to go back eat no we have to start the whole freaking thing over ah, that really is worth saying mama mia for that's the problem it's not that it's about exploration but it's a sort of tedious exploration let's just speed run the whole level what do you say yoshi yoshi's into it he likes doing this kind of thing he's happy to help out mario mario is an old friend Maybe Mario does remember back when Yoshi was his nanny when he was a baby. Oh, well, we lost Yoshi. Because Yoshi is easy. He's a, he's a fickle dinosaur. What can I say? All right, could you, could you... Thanks. You guys gotta be careful with these guys. No! Okay, fine. Let's go to some earlier level. And see if I can maybe scrape up some kind of feathers or something. Oh, that was close. What? Um, hey, hold, hold, hold on. Cute, cute. What? Well, we lost Yoshi again. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, they all yield feathers. Now that is valuable. I tell you what. Oh. And we found just the exit we're looking for.
This is not what I was expecting, but okay. We get another view of Bowser's castle in this deep underground cave. You can see the road leading out of here, to the right. I wonder where that road connects to. Let's -a go! Oh no. No! Ha, <laughs> you clever people! I guess you can only click back when you've already finished the level once. It's Nintendo for you, built-in uh, save scum prevention. What the? What was that? Did it just raise up one? Oh, there's a Blarg in there. Pretty intense, putting a Blarg in there. You know what else is pretty intense? Putting a charging Chuck up there. Wow. All right, we'll take him out. One football at a time. The Charge and Chucks are definitely some of Bowser's most elite sword soldiers. I mean, you know, they, they they almost make the Hammer Brothers look, you know, like petty in comparison. Oh, I'll learn that. Never, never. I was about to say they don't have a, you know such a great aim with their footballs, but clearly I was, I would have spoken too soon. This is much better not being in the Charge and Chuck cave. Oh. Oh. It wasn't that much better. Bowser just his elite soldiers is crawling all around this or all around these parts. All everywhere is where this just just all over the place. It's pretty amazing really. Oh, the checkpoints uh, give you health. I didn't realize that. Good to know. How did you not get hit by that shell? Well, I don't, I don't know. Um, buzzy beetles, I think there really is a mistake calling them that because they are not buzzy beetles. Like, it's just such a totally wrong name. Okay, this is some intense spelunking. That slope was so steep, that shell just sort of inching down under, uh, you know, by its own volition, so to speak. I understand it's not really volition, it's gravity. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Yeah, this is, uh, we're, we're definitely getting, uh, well, not really. These are, I, I'm fairly convinced these are just animals and not Bowser's, like, soldiers. These little spike type things. These spike type Pokemon. Whoa, my gosh, it's a difference! I'm amazed how quickly I can lose lives in this game. It's like impressive to me. This just gets steeper and steeper. It's almost not even platforming anymore. It's almost not about that. It's almost like it's just running. The buzzy beetles obviously have some kind of a connection to these underground areas in this one. Maybe they do in all of them. I mean, now that I recall, uh, in Super Mario Brothers 3, not that I got very far in that one, but there were Buzzy Beetles in an underground level. I remember that much. Very, very early on. Maybe Buzzy Beetles have always been connected with underground. I just somehow haven't noticed it. Okay. Don't stop running, Mario! Mario! It'd be very heroic if I just totally took down all these charging chucks. I'd feel like a real, you know, Mario would have earned the purple cross. But frankly, you gotta choose your battles, and they're all gonna die anyway because they're all stranded out there on that island in the middle of that pit of lava.
Wendy's castle. I always think of Ludwig von Koopa as being like Bowser's right hand. You know, among the Koopalings, that is. So I'm surprised we defeated him so early on. Oh, wendy -o, let, let's how you doing today? I really don't know what to expect after this point. It could literally be anything. For example, dry bones with projectile weapons. Or, or these. That was quick. Oh! Wendy O has heard what's happened to her siblings. Let me tell you something, Wendy. Your makeup is really tacky. You wear too much of it. I think you'd be much prettier if you just let your- if you were just let- you, you know, let your- your natural colors shine through. Now that I consider it, that fortress over there, to- to the east of Wendy's castle, I bet you that's the other secret fortress that belongs to dinosaur lords unaffiliated with Bowser. Like that one we found in the forest. Hey, dry bones! <sighs> Already? <laughs> Didn't quite jump in time, did I? Please, get the feather! Okay, we got the feather. Okay, I expected, like, a platform here, which is why I ended up stopping a bit short. Wow, this is very much not a visitor-friendly place. Whoa! Okay, this is just getting even more not visitor-friendly. I'm kind of in awe at just how dangerous Wendy O's castle is. It's, it's you know, you'd think that... I mean, I understand that, you know, it's Wendy O we're dealing with here, but... I mean, really? This place... is so dangerous. Now see, it's a good thing we went to the Yellow Switch Palace, isn't it? Not as good... It's not as good as if it were a green switch, but, you know, take what you can get. Worth it. Oh. Oh, it's one of those uh, spark things from, like, a... Uh, Paper Mario. Wasn't there a baby named Watt in that one? Pretty sure there was. Well, that's a... It's a tall one right there. Uh-oh. For once, waiting, they did, for once they didn't leave a way out of the trap. It was just a trap, full stop, all the way. Huh. What I really wonder is why would the Koopas even make their fortress possible to get through at all? If they don't want Ma Mario to get through it, I mean, it's probably because they themselves have to be able to get out. <laughs> you know, if they could get through this, I, you know, Bowser's kid, the Koopalings are tough, wow. Hey, Wendy. You know, let me tell you something, Wendy. In my opinion, you wear too much makeup. It just really looks bad. Also, you making those silly faces like you just made at me? It's a very un- it's very un- it's very unappealing feature, Wendy. I think you'd be much more pretty, Wendy, if you- if you just be- embrace your natural looks instead of feeling the need to wear all that makeup and jewelry. Be true to yourself. Maybe she wouldn't have ended up this way if only she had been. Nah, she's real mean like the rest of the Koopalings, it's fine. Wendy O. Koopa of Castle Number 6 has sung her swan song. Mario and Luigi now see the challenge that lies before them. 
there is a sunken ship that seems to be the threshold of the dreaded Valley of Bowser. They're really getting clever with the, uh, end level. They're really getting clever with the way the castles are destroyed. Anyway, a sunken ghost ship. Let's go. Oh no. Water level and a ghost house. It's like some really is that like some out of horror movie. And it's still fully equipped with firing bullet bill cannons. Or bill blasters. Great. We keep going this way? No, there's a barrier in the way. I've heard legends about this level. I feel like I had some vague awareness that it existed, for example. How's there a cobweb like that underwater? Oh, you booze. You... Booze are having a great time doing this to us, aren't ya? Yeah, I mean they are. They're clearly making all those kooky faces. Like, look at all those smiles. Look at that. Look at that one with the little black mouth. His lips flapping, open and shut. Like he's the life of the party. This is just bully. What they're doing. If this is the... If they're talking about the dreaded Valley of Bowser... Does that mean they knew that Bowser was, like, here? That he was in Dinosaur Land? Because if it is, why the heck did they go on vacation at Dinosaur Land? I mean, clearly, if, if it's well known enough to be dread... to be dreaded, it must have... like, they must have known that Bowser was, in fact, occupying Dinosaur Land. Maybe it was actually... maybe Peach knew that, and she took them here and let herself be kidnapped because she knew Mario would, and Luigi would save her, and in doing so, Bowser would be defeated and driven out of Dinosaur Land. And Koopas would no longer occupy this continent, which, as we can see, is largely uninhabited and rich in natural resources. Oh, Peach, she, what a magnificent scheme she invented, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're just falling! We're just straight up falling! I believe there's some, uh, dragon- We well, got a dragon coin. All I can say about that dragon coin is if you didn't get that dragon coin, if you're trying to get all the dragon coins, putting one in a place like that is just is just sadistic. Okay, so there is an edge to this room. Wait, what? That is such a cheap shot! They lit- they set up that you're falling the whole time, and I'm like, oh, I'm in water now, I assume I'm gonna keep falling. No! And now I have to do the whole thing again! There is something rather calming about watching Mario walk across the map. And I suppose it also, uh, reminds us of all the things we've discovered, all these hidden routes. Though we certainly haven't found anything on the Cheese Bridge area. That castle up there, that is the one that I- that's the secret area I found when I was playing this as a- back when I- back years ago when I was a- when I was a little kid. I wish I knew how I got up there. I mean, obviously it was by finding one of the secret exits around here. But I don't know which one or how I found that secret exit, because I have not managed to find it. Yet. You know that, though. I understand why you're so irritated, but I don't understand why a Koopa looks so irritated even when he's still flying with his cape. Maybe it's because he's mad that Bowser has made him, you know, go out public in his underwear like that. It's very embarrassing. But I mean, you know, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Well, maybe it is. He is a pretty bad body, that Koopa. I'm sorry, that's mean. Well, maybe it's not mean. I don't know. What do I know? Do I know anything? Who are you? Where am I today? You know, I could try to find the secret- Nah. Nah. Let's go back to the ghost ship. Hey, 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 hey! Watch it, booze. 
Guys. You were called Boo Diddlies just a game ago, okay? Don't... Don't go giving me the high and mighty treatment like you're tough. You were called Boo Diddlies. That is so stupid. And surely a reference that will stand the test of time. Oh, we did not get the dragon coin. Once again, it would be this is a downright sadistic placement of that dragon coin. You're trying to collect all of them. Why are all these Koopas just in free fall randomly? Like, wh wh how does that work? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, he's good. Let's get as many coins as we- oh, or not. That's fine, too. Lots of big spalls of- what, what the? Oh, oh, hold on, what's this? This is the Valley of Bowser. We made it. Bowser, you hid your fortress well, but not well enough to escape the Mario Brothers. And Yoshi, I guess. Let's -a go! Really? <laughs> sure. I just got through a bunch of haunted underwater ghost ship. I'm not nervous about you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> They're so goofy looking! This is not what I was expecting from Bowser's, uh, from the Valley of Bowser. I don't get what's so dreaded about this. This is kind of, this is, this is hilarious. Look at them! Just marching along? Oh, they drown. How sad. Hey, you want to keep charging, Mr. Charging Chuck? I would appreciate it. Oh, there you go. No, no! There, th thank you. Oh, oh, could you... Could you, could you guys quit it? I mean, I appreciate it at first, but now it's just... It's, you, you, you took it too far. No! Oh, oh, now this is what I'm looking for. This kind of stuff. I just gotta get away from this very tall Monty Mole. Really, it's so silly looking. It's the sunglasses, I think, that really put it over the top. Oh, actually, which way is more likely to be a secret, do you think? I don't know. Guys, quit it. Oh, hey, hey. Bye. Is there anything over here even? No, we should, we should totally go down that pipe. That's, if there's gonna be, Actually, this level doesn't have a secret exit. It's not red on the map. Yeah, there's- wait, really? What a fake-out. I mean, in that respect, I guess it's kind of clever. They, they talk about playing with my expectations. What's up here? Man, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Look at all this vertical scrolling. When Mario has his cape, those charging chucks? Aren't much good against them. I don't know how that charging Chuck got through those barriers without smashing them, though. Oh, you're trapped in there. He's been trapped in there ever since we opened the Yellow Switch Palace. Eh, I'm not, I'm not too... I'm, I, I don't care. He's, he's so goofy looking. Oh, oh! And if I didn't have this cape, this would be really dangerous. Instead of just a little bit dangerous. Oh! Oh! Uh, <laughs> just, he's like, wh he's like where, where'd he go? Where, where'd that guy go? That's what he's thinking. Oh, I guess we might need to go down here. Um, hey guys, keep on being stuck. So that's the full extent of Bowser's most powerful forces, eh? Really big, fat moles with sunglasses. Look at them, they're so smug. 
<laughs> sure. Starting off the Valley of Bowser with a lighthearted start. A lighthearted beginning. This one's a little bigger, though. A little bigger. Hey, worth it. This is not so bad at all. This is just a big cave with these strange rising platforms, I, I grant. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold the phone! Oh, I see, you're one of those Koopas with the shells that just keep on going. I've talked earlier about how the Koopa troop, how the soldiers go out totally unarmed. I see now that I was wrong. That in fact, those shells are pretty considerable weapons. But if that's the case, though, you would have th you'd think that back in Super Mario Brothers, they'd also be using them against Mario like this, instead of it being a new development in this in this installment of the epic Mario saga. That was too not challenging. Something is something is up here. Oh. Well, I don't have a Yoshi with me. Oh! If I did have a Yoshi with me, though, I'm sure I'd find something amazing here. That just means I'll have to come back later. Now I understand why they put the checkpoint there. Let's go get a Yoshi, though. I mean, we've come this far. Why not? Okay. It really is. All right, Yoshi. I don't. We didn't do so well back on that bridge, so I don't know why I expect to do better here. But I do anyway. Oh, coins? Yeah, coins are way better than fuzzies. Sure, I'll take coins. And there's just a bunch of dragon... dragon coins here. Wait, so in this level, let's say that you wanted to, uh, get all the dragon coins. Would you have to get them all in one go with Yoshi? That could be pretty difficult. Oh, I get it. It's just like an alternate earlier exit. I wholeheartedly approve. It is for another one of these strange underground ghost houses with the huge rock cliffs sparkling with diamonds in the background. What a surreal scene. Who knows? Oh, more of these guys, really? Fine. Okay, huh? At least the fire flower protected us a little bit. What the? Oh! Um. Hey, hey, hey. You little dinosaur ghost. Oh! Here we go. This is better. It seems way less hopeless now. But I still uh, shouldn't be... Ah. Uh, well, let's see where this door takes us. To ghosts. Pretty typical. Pretty uh, much what I would expect. Pretty normal for the setting. Oh, what the? I see. We. I bet you we could somehow use that to... Uh... Oh, we couldn't. can't go up that high here, actually. Where would we? I don't think we could have gotten anywhere if we had... The way those boos make the silly faces at you sometimes. I'm pretty sure they stopped doing that in the later Mario games, so... Okay, well, we're gonna go this way then. Shall we? Yes, we shall. No! <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now I just need to... Well, this is a door anyway. It's not one of those doors we missed before, but... Oh, it's just back here again? 
Yeah, it's just back here again. We have to we have to go through one of those doors that we missed. Probably the one farthest from us. Oh what the Okay, booze. Or or not. I'm kinda disappointed that none of the booze got hurt. Still I didn't get through there quickly enough. I no. Oh. I quite literally walked into that one, I'm afraid. Let's go. We didn't use lo we, we didn't use lo We didn't lose Yoshi though. I'm glad. Okay, we just gotta make it all the way to the other side of this room. Distractions have to be overcome. There we go. We made it. Now what? Oh. Um. It's a good thing I looked ahead first. Is oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, that was just for the dragon coin? Well, fine, fine. All that's for the dragon coin, so be it. What the? What the? How disorienting. Let's try that again, shall we? Although, of course, as I said before, for the purposes of the story, Mario's doing all of this in one run. Every time, in every game, Mario single-handedly defeats whole armies just on his first try. And when you get down to it, that's pretty, pretty darn amazing. You know, Mario isn't just some normal, weak person. He's a person who single-handedly takes down whole armies. Yeah, this is the door I wanted to get through before. Come to think of it, if a ghost house had multiple exits, it wouldn't be marked on the map, would it? That's pretty... Well, it's pretty something. For now, I think what we're gonna go do is head back to the Vanilla Dome and see if we could find a way to get to that path that I found back when I was a kid. There's the switch! Up there! But how do I get to it? That's the issue. The switch is not in a position where I can get to it. If only it were. If only it were. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Okay. Clever. That's. That really is just plain clever. What can I say? Other than, you know, it's plain clever. Alright, gotta get all those coins. <laughs> Here we go! Here we go! Okay. Let's go, uh... No! Well, that's fine. Because we found the exit. Let's go. Just the exit we needed to find, too. Sure. Uh huh. Hey, hey! Okay, so spinning your cape doesn't stop those shells. Those special rainbow shells. The Koopas thought they could keep this Switch Palace hidden from us, didn't they? Well, they were wrong. They got pretty close, though.
And now that we have the red switch palace activated, we can get to the secret exit of Vanilla Dome 1 through the pipe. Through the warp pipe, that is. I understand it's not just some ordinary garden variety pipe. Ah, whatever. And now, we can get up here and- oh! Never mind, the secret- uh, the secret exit's this way! One secret exit allows us to get to another. Interesting. They- this! These are the secrets that I found when I played this game as a kid. I remember how amazed I was just how far the secret route went. That was very close. That Koopa there almost got us. Fortunately, not quite. There we go. That last one was a decent height, I think. We go through this pipe? Nope. No, we can't. Well, I guess I'll just bounce back up here then. Or er, I'll certainly try. I'll certainly try. <sighs> certainly try. There we go. What about this one? Oh, I can't knock them out from the top, only the bottom. Oh, just coins? That's fine, I'll take them. And look how high my score is. Is that high? I don't know, it's probably not the highest score that anyone ever got in this game, that's for sure. Dragon coin! I know that I'm not going through to collect all the dragon coins, but still. I think there is something valuable to say about them. Not really. The only value there is to those dragon coins is the value that we, as a society, have given them. Oh, I see. The alternate exit's over this way. Well, first I'll see what's in these blocks. See this? I was hoping- No! Oh, I was close. I was hoping for something like this feather that- No! Well, okay. Fine, I guess we're not going to, uh, go to the secret exit after all. That's fine, It'd just take us back to the Star Road anyway. How are we gonna get up there, though, without the spring thing? I tell you what, we can't. I, I failed. There's nothing I can do now. I lost the level. That's all there is to it. I can't, I can't get back. It's, it's all over. I have to, I just have to quit. That's, I, there was no other choice. Other than dying, and I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to do that. Let's go. So forget it. I'm not. I can't do it. I'll just. I'll just go the way they want me to, which is uh, up this way. Well, they might have gotten. I might have gotten a little hurt, but not that bad. Uh, no, we can't go through there. Or, come on, man. Come on. It's like, let me use the springboard. There we go. No. Okay. Okay, forget it. You know what? Forget it. No. I gotta get up here. I gotta use the freaking spring boards. The worst thing in the game. Hey. Hey, buddy. Could you, uh, you quit it, buddy? Thank you. Thank you for getting down for me. I really, I, it means a lot to me. It was all for naught. But we got through the level, though. I remember, I just was so amazed when I first found this as a kid. Oh, you can't see what's at the top of the mountain. Interesting. Luigi. Go ahead, Luigi. How hard could Vanilla Secret 2 be? 
so here we are on top of the uh, Vanilla Dome. It feels a lot different from inside the Vanilla Dome. Go figure. We even got a Yoshi! Oh, good. The Koopas must be terrified of the Yoshis at this point. I mean, you know, the, 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 the Yoshis have managed to cause so much trouble. I mean, the Yoshis have eaten so many Koopas alive. It's, it's, it's horrible. And you see that in a single stomp, they completely, completely kill the Koopas. Imagine what, what kind of nicknames the Koopas, you know, are given this guy. Probably things like, like the Red Menace. Except that sounds like communists. I don't think the, the Yoshis are communists. They, they might be. I mean, I don't know that much about Yoshi society. Well, oh, we actually, we didn't lose Yoshi! Oh no, is there a Lakitu over here, or is that just a... Oh, here. Oh, bob bombs! It's been a while, guys! They just really are- No! No! <laughs> Yoshi! It's because, Luigi, you, ru you, you run around all the time like you're slipping on a banana peel, okay? You're such a doofus. Okay, God. What the? That one wasn't my fault. You saw what happened. No, I lost it. I lost it. Oh, well. It's fine, we're gonna get through. We're not gonna get through here, because that stupid Togazo keeps reappearing, keeps reforming. And I'm not talking about the good kind of reforms either, like reforms of penal codes that really uh, are in need of reforming because they encourage corruption. No! Oh, neat! Man, Wario would love that, those kinds of blocks. Oh! Now that was definitely a trap the Koopas laid. Putting all those, uh... Spikies in that same... in that hole. I mean, they're spinies, I mean, not spikies. What am I saying? Man, that explosion killed the Lakitu. That's reckless disregard for the well-being of their troops so characterizes the the inhuman practices of the Koopa Troop. Oh, um, maybe they're rebelling against the humans. I've sometimes wondered whether the humans are some sort of ruling caste in the Mushroom world. Mushroom Kingdom is ruled by a human woman. Oh. Big sudden ending. Anyway, Sarasra Land, or whatever it's called, is ruled by human woman. All the kingdoms in Super Mario Bros. 3, ruled by humans. I think the humans in the Mushroom World have become something of a ruling caste. Heck, even the Black Sugar Gang from Wario Land... Yeah, from just Wario Land 1. Even they are hu led by a human. Oh no. Okay! Okay! Dolphins! <sighs> okay, it wasn't so bad. I wasn't nearly as bad as the last time I encountered dolphins. This kind, this time I'm is even almost kind of fun. This encounter, this one, this particular encounter with dolphins. Oh, hey, th thank you, dolphins. I appreciate it. That one's particularly cute. Um, hold on, I'd like to. Oh no! Okay. Things just got a whole lot more serious. Pufferfish has some oddly shaped pupils. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, okay, good, good, okay. Wow. We survived. And I'm not gonna get the dragon coin. Oh, thanks, guys, thanks, I, re I really appreciate it. See, this is how it should always go with dolphins. Is this not like that way it went the first time I tried to do I tried to encounter any dolphins, you know? What a refreshing visit. Oh, thank you, Mario. What a refreshing visit to a mountaintop lake. They must be freshwater dolphins. Now this is where I got to. This is the secret area I got to back when I played this as a little kid. It was the Vanilla Fortress. That is what sets Super Mario World apart, I think, is the sense of exploration, of finding new things. It's no wonder that, uh... Well, I mean, it's, perhaps it's not no wonder, but I can understand why... Shigeru Miyamoto uh, says this is his favorite Mario game. Now we're not gonna get down there. Unlike the other fortress we found in the forest, this one clearly isn't abandoned. It's filled with undead fish. It's pretty near abandoned. Oh, it's filled with undead things, period. Including uh, what could have been the first bone-throwing dry bones that you encountered in the game if you'd gotten here earlier. Ah, well, we got it at least. Oh, hey, Thwomp. Thanks for not giving me a game over, Thwomp. It means a lot to me. No fair. Why doesn't the Thwomp falling hurt the dry spinies? Or the dry buzzy beetles? They're dry buzzy beetles, I think, even though they shoot spikes out from their shell. This is a particularly labyrinth-like palace. So if this doesn't belong to Bowser, whose is it? I mean, of course, we know from the last step from the Forest Fortress that it was under the control of a group of dinosaurs. So do you suppose Dinosaur Land once upon a time was ruled by these dinosaurs and that these are the tyrannical ancient rulers of Dinosaur Land? I, s I was saying, thinking they're ancient instead of, you know, an ongoing kind of rulers, because, well, I mean, their other fortress we went to was totally empty other than them, and this one's only filled with the dead. Sort of ominous, isn't it? Anyway, it's just some more of these, uh, old ancient dinosaur rulers. The ancient dynasty of dinosaur land. The dinosaur land, uh, dynasty, if you will. Wait, what's that name on the wheel? Resner? I suppose that the ruling family of Dinosaur Land were the evil Resner clan. At least these guys seem pretty sinister with their legions of the undead. Maybe they weren't always like that. Maybe it just happened to them over time. In any case, here, now I understand why it's called the Butter Bridge Area. I bet that if we had managed to fly all the way to the top with Yoshi, we would have gotten here to Butter Bridge 1. Clever. Let's -go. Well, let's see if we can uh, even get across Butter Bridge 1. Now, see, you see this? It's not clearly not very well maintained, but this at least is a br proper bridge. Oh, it's one of these. Sure. Whatever. I, c I can make do. I can make do. That's one of the... Well, as I've said before, one of the... Oh! oh as i said before, one of the fine things about this one is they have these alternate level ideas. This is a pretty interesting idea for a level. And it's just probably the only time in the whole game it comes up is the, you know, one platform sinks when you step on the other one kind of deal. That's something that also set a Super Mario Bros. 3 apart, which is how many totally unique level ideas that it has. That it has. 
Um, oh. No! Oh, you missed the jump, and that's it. It's the end of you. Why are we even doing this? Is it's just to try and get to Fortress Number 4 again? We've already been there. But if the whole map could be linked together a little bit more conveniently, though, I don't know, it's worth it. Also, just to show you that I'm not that bad at, at, at video games sometimes, another reason I'm going through here. Forced scrolling levels. An old genre standby. Maybe I won't try again. It's not really worth getting across the butter bridge. Who even cares, really? Who even cares? I do wonder, though, where exactly the, uh... ...other secret is. I do wonder, though, where exactly the Blue Switch Palace might be. Perhaps? Well, no. Cheese Bridge will probably just take us up to Butter Bridge. Hmm. It's a nice touch, the, uh... Cheap, cheap that hops up and down, you know, out of the lake down there. But what else is there? For example, apparently there's some way to get to that island right there. But how? How could we get to that island? I don't know. I don't know how we could. Actually, there must be a secret exit to this level that would let us get to that fortress to the north. 